Hey guys! Thanks for being interested in our SnackScans add-on. In this short video, I'll show you how to install and use our add-on. So first of all, if any of your questions should remain unanswered in this video, feel free to check out our SnackScans documentation for more information. It's available either directly on Blender Market or in this folder you downloaded. So, now, how can you install our add-on? Don't worry, it's really simple and the first step is to download the SnackScan zip file from Blender Market. After that, open a new blend file and navigate to your user preferences. Now, select the add-on section and hit the install button. Now you just have to navigate to wherever you put your downloaded SnackScan zip folder and select that folder. Now hit install add-on and it will install SnackScans into Blender. Here's to note that this can take a while, but don't worry, just let it take its time and do its thing, it will install SnackScans correctly. Please don't close Blender during this installation process or weird things could possibly happen. Once the add-on has installed correctly, the SnackScans tab will appear. In order to activate the add-on, you just have to hit this checkbox and the add-on will be activated. You all I also have to check your installation path here. In most cases, our add-on will automatically find the correct installation path, but if for some reason your installation path should appear empty, don't worry, there's a very easy solution to this. First of all, you have to unzip your SnackScan zip folder anywhere on your computer. For example, I unzipped the SnackScan zip folder here. Then you just have to hit this button and navigate to wherever you unzipped your SnackScans folder by hand. Select that SnackScans folder and here's to note that you shouldn't select any subfolders such as assets in here or the add-on will not work. Now once you have the correct folder, hit accept and it will update the installation path in your user preferences. Now just save your preferences if you don't have autosave preferences turned on and you're all set. Now SnackScans is located on the right side of the 3D viewport under the SnackScans tab. If installed correctly, it will appear like this. Up here you can find different categories of food to make it easier for you to select and find the, right, the food you want to import. To see all available assets in that specific category, just hit this box with the preview image and all available assets will appear. In order to select an asset, just click the preview image and it will update here. Now if you want to import the asset, hit import asset and the asset will be imported into your scene. Here's to note that our assets are all accurate to scale in order to make it very easy for you to use them in ArcVis projects. But of course this also means that our, ass that our assets are quite small in comparison to Blender units, which can mean that if you're zoomed out quite far you might ask yourself, where is my asset? Don't worry, you just have to zoom in and you will see your imported asset. We also have some import options here. For example, you can switch the placement location of your asset by toggling this button. You can either import your asset to the origin of the 3D viewport or to your current cursor position. You also have the option to toggle between 2K and 4K texture sets by hitting this button. Here's to note that once you toggle the button, your current selection will disappear and the first asset of the category you in, you're in will be selected. Don't worry, this is normal. You will just have to reselect the asset you wanted to import and import that asset. If you want to open the original blend file and make changes there directly, you can hit the open file button. And if you want to link the asset into the scene, you can hit the link asset button. Here's to note though, that the asset will not be editable directly in your current blend file, but only in the original blend file you get by hitting open file. This way you can save a lot of memory, but usually we would advise you to just import the asset directly and only use link asset if you have major memory problems. If you want to quickly add some random detail to the asset you imported, you can hit the randomize button and specify which properties of the asset should be randomized. This is useful if you have many of the same type of food imported into your scene and want to quickly change them up a little bit. Now if for some reason 
your asset should be missing texture files, you can hit the Find Missing Files button in order to re-import them into your scene. All of our assets were made with cycles in mind, but the materials also work with Eevee. They may need minor adjustments though. In order to make it very easy for you to adjust the shader settings, we made special shaders for every asset so you don't have to fiddle with the original shader. You will probably have to change certain attributes of our assets depending on the scale of the object as well as your scene lighting. You should also note that if you scale up the asset or make it smaller, subsurface scattering value will change and you will probably have to readjust that. But with the shader it should be really easy. And now you're all set. You can start being a digital chef. If you have any questions or want the original high-res RAW files, feel free to message us and we'll make sure you'll get them. If you enjoy our product, we would really appreciate a good review on BlenderMarket.com because we put so much effort and spend so much time on this add-on in order to make it as good as it can possibly be. If you encounter any problems, please tell us as well. We will find a solution for you and make SnackScans work for you as well. And one last thing, if you want to stay up to date or want to find any discount codes for future products of ours, feel free to check out our Vertex Wizards Instagram page to find those. And now, thank you very much and happy blendering.